All right, our next caller is Stephen from Missouri. Hey, Stephen, how can we help you? What's your question? Hi, I was just curious if you had any insight on these antibiotic anabolic diets from uh, these YouTube personalities. And basically the idea is to create low calorie dense foods using a lot of protein powder and then a lot of added artificial sweeteners and sugars. And basically go low calorie on everything. It doesn't matter. It, like if you want bread, go with the lowest calorie bread. Mm. My question is, um, is this technically sustainable? Is there any like long-term, uh, health benefits to this at all? Any risks, dangers? Well, okay, Stephen. So you have just uh, kind of tripped into the secret of of fitness. Get and out of here. Go <laughs> <laughs> no no, bullshit him of, like that. That's, yeah, that's complete. Yeah. And it's funny. We they were call, trying to keep that from crock people. crock of shit totally. is what it is. It, I can't, it's funny they call it anabolic, and then they tell you to go super, super low calorie, which is going to be it's, catabolic. Yes, yeah, opposite. No, that's all uh, gimmicks and, and, and jargon used to just sell people on you know stupid ideas, books, or, or supplements. Uh, I'm sure I'm, they're probably selling something to, to, to people. Um, anabolic diet, uh, look, if you're eating in a calorie surplus, if your protein intake is uh, relatively high and you also are training, you're anabolic, tra you're training in a way that your body wants to build muscle. Uh, congratulations. You're, you're eating in, in, in an anabolic state. Um, but aside from that, no, that's complete. Not only is bullshit. it not only that, it's bullshit too because you're either anabolic or catabolic. Always, you're one or the other. And if you're in a low calorie diet, you're ca you're catabolic. Mm -hmm. If you're not eating enough calories and you're in a deficit, you're catabolic. So the idea that you're cat or you're anabolic when you're in a deficit or eating low calorie is a ridiculous notion yeah. in the in the first. Now place. the other part of your question was: Are there any long term, uh, I guess, detriments to it? Um, yeah. And the answer is yeah. If if your calories are so low that you start to lose uh, lots of muscle, the side effect of that, the detriment of that is a much slower metabolism. And you can lose weight and increase body fat percentage uh, because you've lost so much muscle. So to give you an example, a person who weighs 100 pounds who has 10 pounds of body fat on their body is 10% uh, body fat. If that person loses uh, 10 pounds of muscle, uh, their body fat percentage now went up because they still have 10 pounds of body fat on a now 90 pound body. So, and I've seen this with clients. Well, they'll they'll you know they'll not follow my advice, go do some crazy diet. I'll test their body fat, and they'll lose 15 pounds, and lo and behold, their body fat percentage went up a couple percent, and they can't you know figure it out. And I have to explain to them it's a percentage of your overall body weight. You lost muscle. So if you want a slower metabolism, if you want a flabbier body, um, then I would recommend doing these programs or these uh, nutrition plans. If you're trying to get long-term sustainable results, you want a faster metabolism, you want to get leaner, build more muscle, um, I would stay as far away from those things uh, as possible. Makes sense. Uh, do you think it's pretty damaging to the fitness community? Um, so basically they're preaching, Hey, you can look good, but they're not really considering the health aspect of it. So people, I mean, even like me go online, see these things, they may not understand how bad it is for you. Yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, that this is the motivation of why mm -hmm. we started this. Yeah. I mean, that was exactly what all of us saw in our space for so in fact we were guilty of it i mean uh this is the messaging that we would get down from the company it was about selling you know memberships it was about selling supplements and so you know whatever gimmick or thing that we could come together to to, to sell people on to make more money for the business is much how most people online run their business and it's tough for the consumer you know especially when they use a bunch of jargon that you're unfamiliar with uh to confuse you into thinking that this is the best idea but that's exactly what motivated the four of us to start mind pump is to counter a lot of this information yeah i would say easily 90 percent of the information that's put out by the fitness industry at large the diet industry at large and even the wellness industry uh, at large a good 90 percent of it is totally wrong and of that 90 percent, a good chunk is actually dangerous so um there's just so much crap that's out there in this space and like adam said this is exactly why we started Mind Pump because it was very frustrating training clients and hearing these people come to us and say, hey, I heard this new thing or I read this book or I saw this ad and I want to do this and I got this new diet and it my was friends just, doing this. Yep. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I felt like I was, you know, I was you know, fighting an uphill battle. And so how do we reach more people? 
let's start a podcast. Let's let's talk to people about all this bullshit. Thank you very much for your question, by the way. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, how frustrating is that, man? When you guys would get clients that would come to you and, and tell you about stuff like this and you'd have to So counter. common. We're always having to kind of unpack this and, and really like teach people like why it's so wrong. It's it's great though. I like that I'm you know, I'm enjoying these live questions because we you know, there's a lot of people that feel that way but don't don't convey that or say mm -hmm. that. You yeah. know, they either just get suckered into it and they say, Ah, oh, who cares? I'll just spend my hundred and something bucks, let me try it out or yeah. don't say anything. So it's great to have somebody who who will admit or ask questions about this so we can have dialogue because it is. You're right, Sal. Most of the stuff that's floating around, especially right now, New yeah. Year's resolution, oh, is tempting too. The momentum's super high. So, yeah, yeah. You want to change quickly. Right. Right now. Right now, they're getting bombarded with ads more than they ever have.